Rough skin, soft core is a good brief description of a Scottish Deerhound. The giant dog is perhaps the oldest dog breed in Scotland. Due to their noble and reserved appearance, the breed is considered to be rather aristocratic among dogs. History and Origin of the Scottish Deerhound In the Middle Ages, the dogs were bred by Scottish noblemen to hunt deer. After guns were invented, which made it possible to shoot deer from greater distances, deerhounds increasingly lost their purpose and were replaced by slower tracking dogs. Poets such as Sir Walter Scott immortalized the dogs in their poetry and they also served as a motive for the painter Edwin Landseer in many of his paintings. Outwardly, deerhounds resemble rough-haired greyhounds, but they're considerably larger. The pedigree of the deerhound is not entirely understood. It is assumed that the dogs are, like their close relative, the Irish wolfhound, the result of crossbreeding between Celtic sighthounds and other large dogs. Records dating back more than 2,000 years describe dogs of very similar appearance and character. Today, deerhounds are spread almost all over the world, and in some places, they're even used for hunting coyotes, foxes, jackals or kangaroos. Appearance of the Scottish Deerhound According to the breed standard, males should reach a height at the withers of at least 76 cm and bitches should be taller than 71 cm. The FCI stipulates the weight of the dogs should be between 36.5 to 45.5 kilos, depending on the sex. Their average life expectancy is only 8 to 10 years. A deerhound's appearance rightly suggests strength and endurance, coupled with speed, although a certain dignity, as benefits an aristocratic dog, also cannot be denied. Their shaggy, hairy and not too luxuriant fur is close-lying and feels rough. It is also rather water-resistant, which makes them ideal for hunting. Permissible coat colors are silver gray, dark blue gray, dark gray, gray brindle, yellow, sandy red, and red brown. Chest, toes, and the tip of the tail may be white, although solid colored dogs are preferred. Temperament and training of the Scottish Deerhound. With its impressive size, the noble Scottish dog is gentle, friendly, calm, and dignified. Due to their high intelligence and empathy, they are relatively easy to train. If they are treated unfairly though, they can become resentful. Deerhounds are occasionally quite reserved towards humans or other dogs, but almost never suspicious or aggressive. As they are also patient when around children, they make good family dogs. Exercise and care of the Scottish Deerhound Greyhound races, which are popular in some places, or lure coursing, where hare hunt is simulated, are very much in keeping with a deerhound's nature. They also enjoy running alongside their owners when horse riding. During walks, owners should always anticipate that because of the dog's affinity for hunting, they will always try to run after sighted game. In general, deerhounds are quite robust dogs although occasionally they can suffer from heart problems and bone tumors. And like all tall dogs, they are also susceptible to stomach twisting. Their robust coats require little grooming, only occasional brushing is enough.